Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Oh, I got some shit for you tonight. Some good stuff. That is if I can make it through the video without getting a prank phone call. I don't know what's going on with that, guys, but I get prank phone calls every day now. And, uh, yeah, it's stupid, whatever, but, I mean, yesterday somebody called and tried to get my girlfriend to think I was cheating on her, you know, and that's just really fucked up. And then today some dude, some dude's calling me, fucking saying that he had a tough toad break because he was batoning with it and I, you know, I, I took action as, you know, you know, I backed my product, so tried to look into it and the kid was insane and it was all a prank call. Now he's still just, I don't know, still texting me and shit, so hopefully he doesn't call in the middle of the video. But I'm probably gonna put his number up and everything for you guys to see, because he's a fucking douchebag. This fucking dude. guy offered me uh, 39 lanyard beads in exchange for one of my D2 blades, and that's a picture of the tough toe that he bought off of Amazon. A little shithead. Anyway, so, yes, seriously guys, just, you know, I'm too busy to deal with that shit. Um, you call once, I answer, you prank me, whatever, I'm just gonna hang up the phone, never answer again for you. Uh, I'm probably going to be getting a new phone uh, just strictly for the business um, and screening calls because, you know, I guess some of you aren't mature enough to handle, uh, you know, treating someone with respect, so whatever. But anyway, guys, I'm in a great mood tonight besides that shit. Uh, Mr. Gavco, Mr. Michael Gavick, sent a package with my baby, the Les George VCP, which has shit all in it because I've been carrying it all day. Some sand in there. You can hear it. Yeah, there's some sand in there from the sandblaster, but I've missed this thing so much, guys. Like, I haven't had it for so long. Um, yeah, the one that uh, Anonymous got, I refuse to take it. I just, there's, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. It's a long story, but anyway, guys, VCP, one of my favorite knives ever, if not my favorite knife ever, with a squeaky, squeaky piece of sand in there. It's pretty funny. But anyway, and also uh, this Kirby Lambert he sent for me to sell on USN. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous fucking knife, guy. Look at that. Grind is ridiculous. Kirby Lambert stuff is just impact, like just incredible quality. Fit and finish is just absolute perfection. Smooth as hell. Just so smooth. I may, I just sold my sniper. <clears throat> I may be just buying this one off Gavco. I prefer frame lock right now, but actually, you know, something different that I wouldn't usually go for. Something like this. I just, it's really nice. It's got the green and black G10, or the green G10 uh, OD with the uh, carbon fiber layer and lightning strike with the bronze screws. Just a beautiful grind on there. Just, ugh. Comes with a nice little Lambert pouch there. Yeah. See, you guys are interested in, you know, text me. Give me a call. You know, Gabco's trying to sell it, and I may be buying it, so who knows. So anyway, guys, <clears throat> so, yeah, ah, so Smoke Eater, Smoke Eater, if you don't know who he is, sub him, guys, great guy, good friend of mine, sent me his, oh god, how do you say, Shiragurov, I guess you call it, kind of looks like a Benchmade a little bit. Uh, and he wanted new scales, and of course, Mr. Smoke Eater, being the uh, stand-up guy he is, made me do something absolutely insanely hard. Just kidding, dude. No, it was a challenge, but you know, I'm always up for a challenge or something like that, uh, especially for a friend. Uh, these are nice scales, but a little plain, a little boring. So he had an idea, and I definitely liked the idea a lot, and uh, it turned out, it was very nerve-wracking doing this, but I think it's probably some of my best work as far as fit and finish and like material goes it's just something just something you'll never see ever except from uh from my channel i guess <laughs> so i don't know what model this thing is uh i can't i can't read that i can't read that 
Capco, maybe? Just kidding. So anyway, <laughs> without further ado, got this gorgeous blade, nice and big. It's kind of like a military, but longer. Very ridiculous. Got that really cool Thundercats logo going there. And you got the black C-Tech bolsters with orange C-Tech on the bottom, orange liners. It just looks really nice. And uh, he requested that I line up the SeaTech uh, honeycombs. Uh, and I talked to Kim over at uh, Composite Craft. Um, he said it's impossible to do. But I, I got it pretty good on this side, but perfect on this side. Uh, I mean, there's just, there's some movement when you epoxy some stuff. And uh, I was more concerned with uh, making sure the knife worked perfectly with, but uh, you know, it's, it's barely, Noticeable on that side, but it's it turned out perfect. It's nice and smooth and contoured Orange liners look really cool, especially up here with the black It's gonna put black in there, but it basically turned the orange like basically dark so dark it was almost like uh, Couldn't see it nice and centered This knife is so smooth It's like a bench made on crack pretty much But uh, kind of reminds me of some kind of like uh, firefighter's knife, I guess. So very fitting for Mr. Smoke Eater. But uh, really cool. We can see. I don't know if we can make this out on the camera here. It's really easy to see. And let me see if I get some. I just lubricate it a little bit. Where's my lubricants? Exactly. That's your cue. Just kidding. So, yeah, kind of like lubricate it up here. It just kind of makes it more clear. Yeah, you can see that. That's just, that is so fucking cool, guy. That is just crazy. I never had a. You know, the SeaTac has some really cool applications. You can you can use it for some really neat stuff. But it's very comfortable. A little bit more heft to it, just the slightest bit. Uh, but you know, it's a skinny knife to begin with. So, um, but it's really nice. Got this press fit uh, lanyard tubes on each side. Um, Fit and finish of this knife is fantastic. There was one problem. This guy was a little bit stripped when I got it, but uh, I made sure to be careful with it. So Smokey, you might want to get, you know, crawl him up and get a new one. But uh, Smokey, Eater, guys, this is seriously. I mean, Mr. Knife Sharpener. I'm gonna tell you, this knife is not sharp, guys. Man claims that he's uh, really good at sharpening knives, but I, I beg to differ. That's just like, that's terrible. Look at that, it, it stopped right, it just stopped a little bit through. I'm joking. That's no, definitely nice and sharp. So you guys, the first knife, and okay, the second knife, um, the owner of this knife, you need to contact me, dude. You didn't give me a note with it. Um, so I would like you to contact me. So after you pull your pants up and you're finished, after seeing this shit, just uh, shoot me a text message, email, or call me tonight. I uh, just had to ask you a couple questions. But this is a knife that I'm not the biggest fan of. It's an Emerson A100. I just always thought it was kind of plain. I know it's like kind of like classic, like the uh, CQC7. You know, it's kind of like one of their one of their flagship knives. I definitely r r appreciate it, and every time I handle one, I seem to really like it. So maybe I do like it, but oh man, this guy—he had a request, and he, he, you know, he paid extra. He's just like, go with it, and I was like, all right, man. And he sent me some really cool little accessories to throw on this thing. So uh, the uh, 
thumb disc uh, is not me, uh, and the pivot screw, which is awesome, is also not me. But it just it just looks so fucking sick on this thing. Oh my god, Emerson's are like they clean up so nice. I tell you. So he wanted the acid wash with the blade, but I went a little less so he could still get the idea of the Emerson and not lose the logo. So it's a nice dark gray. Still got the logo with all the info. Looks really nice and clean. And you got your nice uh, Federal 45 Auto thumb stud there. Really nice bronze on it. He wanted me to match basically everything with the bronze on this guy. So, oh man, the pivot screw. Yeah. Emerson Skull Pivot. Gorgeous. It's lightly bronze because just to kind of keep with the theme of everything. And of course, titanium. The fallout treatment going on on this bitch. It is a lot bronzer than it looks. It's just uh, bad lighting as usual. I'm going to be showing this one tomorrow again uh, during the daylight just because it's so beautiful. On this side you have the bronze pivot screw. Some weird marks in the titanium there. It looks like kind of like devil horns. And you got these just kind of heat random colored with the stamped Tough Knives logo. Backspacer is Tiny Anzo. Blue anodized with uh, bronze on the insides. Just gorgeous. Love it. And then the liners are nice and shiny gold. You can't see a little detail in here. There's my logo is basically stamped everywhere inside the logo, kind of like a pattern. You can't see it at all. I was kind of hoping you would be able to, but you literally you can't see it. Like, where's my little flashlight? There it is. Yeah, I can't really see it, but the look of this thing is just perfect with the fallout. Kind of left this like looking rough. Kind of hit it with the nail polish like randomly. It just looks really cool. Place the Teflon with uh, nylon, and it's of course like so much smoother. Lockup is phenomenal. It's perfect. No blade play at all. I didn't think it was perfect when I got it, but you know, I think I made the lockup even better a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if this, the, usually with a Emerson, the screw goes, uh, the male end goes on this side, and you know, the the uh, female end goes on this side. So, uh, I'm not sure if what the style is with this thing, but if it's supposed to be on the other side, but I don't know, I kind of thought it made more sense. So I switched them around, which sometimes can be bad, can cause problems, but didn't cause any problems. I really wish this thing was facing downward, but uh, because of the uh, you know the way it's got the little uh, cut in it, it's got to face a certain way to fit into the frame lock there. But but either way, it looks really good, guys. Just really like this one. Turned out awesome. Feels really good. It's nice and beefy and heavy. Just a really great looking knife now. Thank you for watching guys, thanks for the support, and, uh, have a great weekend and holiday. I'll be making a video tomorrow with Sebastian and Vance, so it's going to be a fun time tomorrow, so expect craziness. But uh, as far as everything I have for sale, everything's pretty much sold, um, yeah, everything's sold. So right now I just got, I got the Silent Soldier Flipper still. The black one, but uh, yeah. So let me know if you want that. Thanks, guys. Peace.